Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So if you've been watching my channel for the last, I think, week, uh, I put out a couple of videos um, just talking about prepping for fall and winter camping. Um, so I have been testing out a lot of gear that's been stored up and a lot of gear that I am going to be using. Um, and so you guys know I have a Overlanding Kitchen which has motivated me now to start doing a lot of cooking out at camp. Um, if you know me, I do like the glitter grab and go, but the Overlanding Kitchen has motivated me to start cooking, which leads me to making sure that I am prepping for the type of food that I'm going to bring in and uh, using this Redudo battery, Redudo battery, <laughs> um, to power up my electrical cooler. So I'm going to be testing this out because what I want to see is how long this can power this electrical cooler before it actually discharges. Now I did watch a guy that had a Redudo battery um, that did a test and it ran his electrical cooler for five days. I don't know if that's true, but we want to see how long it's going to be able to run this baby right here. So I am going to be testing this out. I'm going to be using the app, uh, which has the user interface to let you monitor the progress of or the status of your battery. So we're going to go ahead and get this plugged up. I have it open to make sure that it's at room temperature before we start. The Redito battery, we're going to be testing this out. This is the 12.8 volt, 165 amp hour, which gives a continuous out power of 2,112 watts. Now listen, I can't speak enough about these batteries because one, they are a lot less expensive than your power stations. Um, power stations are running between $700 to $1,000, especially if you're getting something in the 2,000 watt uh, capacity, um, which you can actually get two or three of these for the price of a power station. Um, and so one thing that I do want to mention is that Redudo is um, gearing up for the prime warm-up event where you'll be able to go out to Amazon and get one of their batteries for a 8% discount. But if you go out to their website, they're going to give you a deeper discount. In addition to giving out uh, gifts if you purchase anything over $600, and they're going to be setting up a lucky wheel where you can spend for a chance to win other gifts. So head out to Rebido, uh website if you want to get some gifts um, and a deeper discount or head over to Amazon if you want to get a 8% discount. And they also have a, I think it's a 30 day price guarantee. So yeah, um, I am going to be purchasing a additional battery. So I'm going to be taking full advantage of this uh, prime warm up, warm up event or I'm going to be heading out to their website to get the deeper discount. But I cannot speak enough the importance of having something like this as a emergency backup, especially, you know, with the crazy weather that's been happening. If you think back to Texas, I'm not sure when it happened. I think it was, um, was it this year or last year where those people were out of power for, what, a couple of weeks? So, yeah. Very important to have something like this for, you know, a backup emergency. Um, and then, again, if you're going to be out winter camping, you want to make sure that you have enough power. And then for those of you that are kind of like on a budget, you don't want to spend, you know, seven, eight, nine hundred, a thousand dollars for over $2,000, uh, 2,000 watts, this may be um, a alternative. So. I'll leave you guys with that. I'm going to go ahead and get with testing of this electrical cooler. I already have everything hooked up. So now it's just a matter of me plugging it in. So we're going to be using the uh, DC outlet. So let's go ahead and get this closed up. Get this plugged in. Said I was gonna start out, we're gonna start out at zero. 
Okay, so the time is 12.36. Today is September 19th. This is the official start of the test of this battery. Um, and I'll come back and let you guys know how long we were able to run it. So stay tuned. All right, guys, we are on day two. All right, it is 2.12, 2.13. So we are 25 hours in, I believe, about 25 hours in. So let's go to the app. All right, so after 25 hours, we are down from 99% to 62%. Okay. And it is showing that we have about 34 to 42 hours before this discharges. So we have about a day and a half so I'm thinking we're only gonna get three days, which is good because I typically camp for about three days. So I know I can run this at zero degrees um, for about three days. So we'll come back tomorrow and see where we are. All right, guys, today is Sunday, September 21st. Um, we are going into day three of testing out the Redudo battery that is uh, powering up this electrical cooler that we're using as our test. Uh, so the time is 12.45. We started the test Friday, September 19th at 1236. So let's go over to the app and check out the stats. We go here we go uh so 32 percent we've been running this for two days we are going into day three and it is showing that we have between 17 and 21 hours before this discharges so this potentially is going to give us almost three days now granted when we started the test we started out with a room temperature cooler um, so I can imagine if we had started out with the cooler already chilled or cold, we probably could get a full three day. All right, guys, I think we are at the end of our test. Today is September 22nd. Um, it is currently 2.06 and we are at 1% left before this completely discharges so i think we can go ahead and call this a wrap and come to the conclusion that this redudo battery running a electrical cooler at the max at zero degrees can actually run for three four days a little over 72 hours so I think we started this at 12.36 uh, p.m. on Friday, September 19th. And again, it is now 2.06. So yeah, I think we got 72 hours out of this. All right, y'all, now that we have concluded our test, um, I'm gonna continue testing because what I want to know is how much time I can get out of this battery if my cooler is already pre-chilled. So we know that I can get 74 hours out of it. If it's already cold, how much more time can I get out of this? Then I wanna run a test on it being on economy and medium mode. I wanna run it against my DJI power station um, because from my understanding, based on a video that I was watching of a gentleman that actually does reviews on this type of stuff, um, I believe he said, said that power stations really don't give you the output 
that it claims because there are some regulators within the, the power station itself versus what it's not in a battery such as this. So I do want to test that out. Uh, and I just want to know, just for myself, can I get more than 74 hours if it's already cold? And look, it's still running. Let me show you. We are at 251. Let me show you my stove. We are at 2, 251. But anyways, um, yeah. So I'm going to continue running my test. I need to charge the battery back up. And I'll show you guys on the app how long it takes to charge it from uh, 0, 1% back to 100%. So yeah, that concludes my test. Again, I'm going to try to continue running some more tests on economy, medium, versus my DGI versus it being already cold and see what I come up with. So therefore, if you guys have any questions for me, I hopefully will be able to answer it for you. So thank you guys so much for tuning in if you watched this little uh, test. And again, head over to Amazon if you wanna get an 8% discount. If you wanna get a deeper discount, head over to Redito's uh, website. Um, as well as a chance to win um, some prizes. And if you spend $600, you do get a gift. Not sure what the gift is, but you do get a gift. So I will see you guys um, at camp. Next camp coming up in a couple of weeks. Okay guys, so I got the Redudo battery. Um, just plugged it up to charge it up. This is the charger. So it shows that it's charging. It'll let me know when it's full, and then if there's an error, it'll show there's an error. So right now it is charging, and it is charging using a Anderson connection. So let me take you guys over to the app and show you where we are and how long it's going to take to charge it completely. All right, so we are at 1% and it's gonna take four hours and 12 minutes to fully charge up.